Yo ho, gentlemen, kings and aristocrats, hope you all are doing tremendously well. This time we'll go for a slight change in tonality in comparison to my previous videos, just to add a touch of fun and a bit of library to this channel. So I'm assuming everyone here knows One Punch Man. I mean, even that is an understatement, let's be honest. Who doesn't know One Punch Man in today's age? I'm not a big anime lad myself, and I still know about it and actually watch the entire two seasons without quitting halfway. Although I must admit the second season was a bit of a letdown if it weren't for the villain with the black long sleeves shirt. But anyways, in this video we're going to discuss specifically about the main character Saitama and the wisdom that he left behind for us to benefit in real life as the overpowered and subtly quirky hero that he is. Now, as a young and clueless lad back in the day, I always watched anime for the purpose of entertainment and the hype. Never really have any thought of digging deep into the narrative of the story or the characters, and also the message or wisdom that the writers are trying to imply to the audience. But I guess I'm a more sophisticated lad now, so I currently watch movies or anime or any form of visual entertainment if only they have a good narrative of the story or the characters, rather than just for a quick fizz to pass the time. Anyhow, I always wondered why One Punch Man was so appealing that it reached Western audience to an extent and scale that I never really thought of seeing. The story itself is not particularly complex or intriguing. Heroes here, monsters there, bang bang bang, save the day and then back to normal. But despite that, I was captivated, particularly by Saitama himself. Again, he's not particularly a complex character by any means. He doesn't have a crazy and deep background story, nor does he have an interesting daily routine or commute. And that is exactly the point. It is the simplicity and integrity in the narrative of his character and approach to life that stands out to everyone. In a world today where we try to complicate stuff and trying to shove multiple elements into any endeavors to try and make them as interesting, distinct, and as unique as possible, which of course has its own set of appeals. It was a breath of fresh air to witness the simplistic plot of One Punch Man and its main character. Never actually thought about that when I first watched the series. In fact, I actually thought it would be extremely boring of having an overpowered character with no interesting backstory or development. But I eventually realized its appealing concept in the end, and the writer's own powerful messages and wisdom that is implied through the portrayal of Saitama himself, which also in my opinion can be considered plausible in real life circumstances. But anyways, without further ado, here are five powerful life lessons or wisdom from Saitama himself that in my own personal opinion can be extremely useful and enlightening to one's own life. The first one is courage. Now this is a no-brainer really. Saitama lives by the code of just doing whatever the hell it is that you want. He ditched his plans to become a normal day-to-day 9-to-5 employee, to become a hero because he just wants to become a hero, he desires to become a hero, and he literally don't think twice about it and just do it anyway. Now in real life this is useful for us. As I've mentioned before in a couple of videos back, it doesn't matter what you think. All that matters is what you decide to do about it, and this is especially useful for people who are overthinkers such as myself. There is literally no point in thinking too much and dwelling for the right time to take actions on everything that you have a burning desire to commit and do. All your questions and fears will be answered when you finally take action. Why wait, waste time and be unhappy where you can just start doing whatever it is that you want to do for your life? What is it that you want to do? Just go out and do it. In the face of the universe, we are very insignificant and in reality, we don't have much to lose anyway. So why fear making the most out of your limited time here on earth to do whatever it is that you have a very, very strong desire to commit in doing? Second is focus only on your priorities and interests. We all know life is about priorities and choices, and Saitama is no different. He's a simple man with a very few simple set of priorities and interests, such as being a hero, his friends, bargain deals at the supermarket, his flat, and his cactus. This is especially useful in today's world of social media and globalization. We feel like we have to take everything, even stuff that actually means very little to us, into full account, just for the sake of fitting in into society. That simply shows that you have a lack of acknowledgement and awareness of your own distinct and unique character as a person. Saitama pays attention to almost nothing else but his priorities and interests. And that made his life very simple and less complicated, and thus leading him having a very little worries, which helps him to have a very calm and clear mind. Thirdly is indifference and unreactiveness. Now I'm not going to point this out because it is pretty obvious Saitama is notorious for his stoic and don't give a flying F attitude. And this ties very closely to the previous lesson, to disregard anything that is unimportant to you, such as other people's opinions and attitudes towards you, because you can't control them. People say what they want to say and do what they want to do at the end of the day. It is not your job to make them say or do otherwise, but it is your responsibility to react accordingly. Saitama ignores the tank top brothers when they mocked him for destroying the city. He ignores Sonic when the latter asked him for a rematch. He ignored a letter calling him a cheating bastard for defeating the Sea King. And he just simply dismissed all of the monsters and the villains' claims of invincibility and cataclysmic level of power that they possess. He just understands that he can't do anything about those circumstances. He can't control people's mouths and thoughts. 
nor are they even important to him. So he did exactly just that, ignored them, and let them pass. Now, I'm not saying that you should be super unreactive like Saitama to the point where you start forgetting people's names like he did, but you get the point. Being emotionally reactive to everything that is external and out of your control is detrimental to your own mental health, gentlemen. Direct your precious time, energy, and attention only to those priorities and interests, and to those that deserves your attention. Like Marcus Aurelius said it perfectly, if you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but your own estimate of it. And this, you have the power to revoke at any moment. Fourth is being directly honest. Lying is an absolute waste of time, gentlemen, and Saitama knows that. To him, the cost just outweighs the benefits, and it is just too much work to lie. He just says whatever comes to mind and does not hide anything. And of course, like in real life, to the point where he offends some people. But in reality, why people or villains react to his blunt words as offensive is because his honesty shatters the illusion of what they created for themselves. And this is very common in the real world that we live in. We often lie to exaggerate things so that society or the world can hopefully find a place for us to belong. And we often lie to cover up our faults and imperfections so that we would not be banished from society and end up alone or deserted. In reality, it is better to just be bare than to be fake, because being fake is cowardly and it kills respect, while being bare is courageous and earns respect, because you're not trying so hard to be anybody else, because you trust yourself, and that is a rare thing in today's world. Everybody has their own set of flaws, and it's just way more admirable and aspiring to wear them on your sleeves and just showcase them because you're just simply being real. The fifth and final one is being humble. No surprise here. Saitama doesn't ask Genos to bring a video camera everywhere they go to record his feats of defeating villains with a single punch to elevate his status. If he were to do that, he would be an S-class hero by now, but he just doesn't care about that. Again, priorities. He certainly have his pride of being otherworldly strong, but he never take his image seriously, because again, he is indifferent to other people's opinions about him. He is just a simple guy with a simple life. He understands what it's like to be weak because he was once weak. He never bullies others, and he admires and prays courage above others such as when Moomin Rider was beaten badly when he faced the Sea King, but still refuses to give in and yield. Being too invested and attached in what people think of you is again a sign of one's lack of a solid foundation and trust with one's own character and identity as a person, as you allow society to define who you are rather than you defining yourself. And the moment society's opinion of you changed, so does your sense of self-worth, confidence, and pride. So that is it, gentlemen. What One Punch Man personally taught me, and well, hopefully you all as well after this video, the message of Saitama is clearly simple. Live a simple life so that you don't have much to worry about, and have a deep trust with yourself as a person, so that you don't waste time living other people's lives and being someone that you're not. Do not reject who you really are because you fear being judged by the world. Even the most perfect being himself, God, is also judged and criticized to this day. It is just a part of life. The important thing is, is you always have a choice to make things important to you, or to leave it as it is. Thank you for watching.